Hi everyone, this video is the continuation of previous video welcoming Loadrunner 12.60. Today morning Microfocus team has updated the 12.60 files in the Microfocus account. So if you are logging into your Microfocus account, you can see 12.60 files to download and also they have updated the ADM marketplace. So go ahead and download the latest version. In this video, we are going to see what's new in Loadrunner 12.60. Let us dive and experience the uh, notable features, enhancements of the complete package. So the first thing I have noticed after downloading 12.60 is the branding. So now you can see uh, everywhere the uh, micro focus instead of HPE. So even uh, the C program files uh, from HPE, they have uh, converted, uh, they have changed the path to micro focus and uh, uh, everywhere is a bluish uh, screen, uh, bluish uh, um, user interface uh, because they are replicating the micro focus brand everywhere. So that is the uh, main um, notable uh, changes uh, you can observe. And <clears throat> The one of the important stuff uh, is uh, there is no need to install uh, Visual C++ 2013 uh, files. So if you see in your control panel, there will be a lot of uh, Visual C++ redistributable stuff. So it will be installed uh, by default whenever you are trying to install the ViewGen or our controller or analysis. So now starting from 12.60, there is no need of uh, Visual C++ 2013 redistributable and uh, they have added the support for Java 9 and 10. So by default, it supports Java 10. So that is one of the notable features. And network virtualization is free. So no need to pay any license for uh, network virtualization, but there is a catch. Uh, you, you have to read the, uh, the complete uh, files regarding NV feature. So I guess if you cancel the support contract, uh, you will lose the network uh, capturing feature. Uh, so please uh, uh, read the terms and uh, read about NV uh, in the official web page. But NV is free, so no need to pay any uh, cost uh, starting from 12.60. And with respect to ViewGen, they have added small anim animations whenever you invoke and startup time is pretty fast and you can see the uh, micro focus brand colors in the user interface and uh, in the ViewGen SSL2 is no longer supported so it has been deprecated and you can see in the runtime settings they have added a, a new checkbox for HTTP2 uh, uh, and also uh, the one of the uh, recording wise if you see it, it will not support the micro uh, Microsoft Edge browser uh, for the Windows uh, socket protocol so these are the notable changes in uh, ViewGen and with respect to uh, the new protocol, they have introduced uh, TrueWeb. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to publish a new learning series uh, for TrueWeb alone. Uh, so please uh, subscribe to QA Insights for more updates. So this is a tech preview version. So basically you, you can interact with your application using HTTP layer and uh, the backbone is uh, JavaScript uh, SDK engine. And uh, with respect to TrueClient, uh, so TrueClient has uh, a major change. So you uh, starting from 12.60, they, they are not shipping a Firefox browser. So instead, uh, they have created a new browser called a true client browser. So which is a, a flavor of a Firefox. And uh, uh, if you create a new script, you can see only three browsers by default, true client browser, Chrome and IE. And uh, they have added the uh, assistance, interactive assistance, uh, but only for uh, uh, IE and uh, Chrome, not for a true client browser. I'm not sure why the uh, they have released only for IE and Chrome, not a true client browser. Uh, it is like a, a help, uh, interactive help. So uh, it will guide you through the steps uh, so that you can expedite your uh, uh, scripting effort. And uh, you can debug the uh, convert to code feature. So if you right click on the convert to code, so basically, if you convert your true client steps to code, you can debug uh, in the uh, debugging um, um, that interface. Also, you can pop out that uh, debugging code uh, out of the true client. And they have added the better support for Windows 10. So I'm seeing a lot of uh, uh, speediness uh, in the application, the startup and adding steps, execution, and there, are, there is a small animations they've added in the uh, top uh, URL address bar. 
um, so the stuffs are pretty neat on this uh, update and with respect to analysis you can save your uh, graph in as an image format and also they have uh, created the load runner raw results exporter you can export to json also if you have influx db uh, time series uh, database uh, stuff uh, in real time you can watch the analytics the performance metrics in influx db so those are the major changes with respect to analysis and uh, with respect to automation uh, they have introduced the command line interface tool uh, so you can uh, definitely this will be useful for devops guys if you want to run if you want to automate a scenario execution you can use this command line tool to automate the scenarios execution uh, by inputting the xml or lrs file or you can check out from the uh, git so a lot of uh, uh, command line features they've added uh, again i'm going to put up a, a video a couple videos on cli uh, tool and with respect to dockerized uh, LGs, uh, it is now avail available for Windows. You can download it and then you can deploy the LGs in the dockers, uh, which is a scalable uh, LGs. Uh, you can implement uh, this in your uh, uh, organization starting from uh, 12.60. So uh, that's it from my side, guys. Uh, so for the next couple of days, I will be focusing on each feature and then I will be adding a uh, new new uh, videos on uh, uh, loadrunner 12.60 playlist so please subscribe at uh, youtube.com slash qinsights and thanks for listening have a nice day